All right, boys. Yes, sir. The two seven patch notes are finally here. Today, we're going to go through it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Let's jump into it and let's talk about it. So first up, I want to bring it out um, that they've changed the time of updates. It's literally like 30 minutes after than what it should be. Um, last week or like two weeks ago, it was an hour. And then the last update was freaking, what was it, an hour or two um, after the point it was supposed to release. They've been doing some weird stuff with these updates. Um, but they are finally here, the two characters of Scotty and Alate. If you're going to go to someone on this banner, be ready for it. Um, they will be arriving tomorrow. Again, get hyped, get ready. Um, if you are skipping, you got, you got some gems to collect in this update because it isn't that bad um gem wise i did say that it's pretty empty on like the different events but because we have deer and the chapter clear rewards and all that stuff there are some decent stuff to pick up um we do have the 3.5 um entire chapter where you guys can go and play through it um and check out what's happening in there we have this which is the new achievements that are going to be added in this entire update this is going to be for the um, world tree this is also going to be for the world tree if you claim it uh, or if i clear it 10 times 30 times 50 all the way up until a thousand times um you do pick up one gem each time and then two gems down here so you are picking up some decent stuff there um if you do clear uh floor three of the deer boss um one time you get three and if you do it five times you get five gems so there are some decent gems again just go take care of that as soon as possible um it will take you some time a thousand times um to beat that it will take you at least a while let's just say that bro i forget how much like you actually regenerate over time so it's gonna take you a while um we do have the deer boss finally here you guys can go and try to conquer it see if you can beat it and claim the new relic wards um and all that stuff that has in fact been added um also in this update uh you have the ability to go and beat the bird unlimited times um during this entire thing so you can just go and farm it for a few hours um every day um, and try and get all the relics built if you would like to and if you're still unable to build um, or rather to beat the bird you have the chance to go and actually acquire stuff in this update that will help you which i'll go and talk about in a second uh, but they did add the demonic beast story um, they added the demonic beast um, select function they also added the demonic beast weekly challenge reward and guaranteed reward challenge rewards again remember that it's, uh, there was like a thing they put out um, that you can actually claim um, the first clear rewards twice this week so make sure you take care of that um, because today's the last day and the tomorrow's going to reset again um, so there you go just want to put that out there you can also what is it repeatedly claim one source uh, wind source as a guaranteed reward when clearing the third floor of the bird's nest so not bad there also we have world tree which is a new content thing of you guys can go and take care of with a new currency that has some decent stuff behind this currency but again this is what the shop is going to look like and this is the one thing that you need to pick up right away because it's very very helpful for the demonic beast um it is in fact the card i made a full like guide on where you're going to pick up all of the cards um, if you're wondering that's on the channel you can check that out it's like my last video the one before that um but this is what it's going to look like all of the stuff here you're going to have this currency which you can also exchange for um this which is there the costumes we have elsa over here we have have the ash from overwatch um which again looks like exactly the same then we have this one over here which is just anything um we also shockingly enough i don't know if this was added in jp's update i don't remember seeing it but the original um oc character costumes are finally back for you to purchase um some of them a lot of people were wanting i saw like a comment like 30 times wanting this costume right here um and this one so for camilla and for roxy if you were um in the like market to buy these you can get them now um they're going to be back so like i've been waiting for this actually because i missed out on one of them um so there goes my gems <laughs> i have to actually go buy this now um so that's a blast these are actually now back these are the relic cards you guys are going to need to pick up um which it does say here clear reward um clear reward for chapter three then we have pv shop we have world tree and we have the bird um that is where you're gonna pick those up we have three new holy relics which is for Magelda as well um which again i'm highly recommending this is the one to pick up if you do have Magelda. it is a very very good relic if you're going for goddess elizabeth do not not worth it at all um i will say that right now you also have a new update to the hawk pass which is finally here this is two weeks delayed for global um additionally from what we were supposed to get it um so that is here you have gother a latte um and Magelda in this one we also have all the stuff also added in new right here um and then i guess that's it that's new so uh not bad we have the hawk pass you guys can go and purchase it if you would like to we have new bundles over here we have this also system updates which you guys can go and search for that we have all this stuff um they fixed the bug over here fixed up over here new events and this is the big thing this is what every single soul um has been waiting for you can now go and get a free relic yes a fully free relic is covered via this update um it is in fact by a like spin wheel event a bingo event if you would not say um again it's pretty uh pretty easy to take care of but it will take you like at least i'll say a week to beat this um so make sure you jump into it the last reward is over here on round eight um these all give you enough to create one relic so make sure you jump into it and beat this right away take care of it um each day do the limit 
um, make sure you have that ready so you do not like again if you have an alt account if you have whatever getting a relic is really hard um, and having this will boost your account so much more um, so I highly recommend you pick that up and get it for the entire relic um, over here also all this stuff we have the regular battle events and we also have this so a free SSR pendants um, with a cost of six million so technically not free I'm sorry um, ending events and all that stuff over here and that looks like it so again make sure you read through this make sure you finish up all this stuff over here um all of the melee events sorry all events are ending and again as i made in the last video which a lot of people were like no it's gonna probably be added they didn't add sorry not a single um message here uh said that they were going to add sorry so there you go they're not adding it if you go over when they said it for this it was like said right away um that they will add it and it was like an image they had i don't actually have the tab open anymore i kind of got rid of it so that's a uh, that's a rip yeah no sorry i getting added to the standard banner uh we're gonna have to wait and see when jp gets it and then when jp gets it in their update two weeks after we'll receive it so there you go that's the big change um that yeah that's that's an l i don't know why they didn't add him in but they didn't um other than that it's, it's a lot of stuff to do a lot of content to go and clear a lot of gems to pick up the costumes are finally back if you want to go and pick them up again should you summon i want to include that in this video because i don't plan on making a separate one I don't know. I wouldn't say this is the best banner to go on. Um, again, I know a lot of people are saying, like, dude, I need I need the characters for the bird. I need Magelda. I need it. This is my only chance. Um, but I did show proof that, like, you know, Brunhild and Sigurd were brought back so many times um, as filler characters that I really don't think summoning on Ragnarok right now is the best idea when you do have a festival, um, which will be the first light unit uh, we do presume and speculate. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best idea to go onto this banner right now it would be very very smart to save right now again you know when is the festival um we're saying about a month away jp should receive it um or in two weeks four weeks i don't know again when they're gonna drop it uh, we're getting a new unit on jp in two days so remember if you want to save and um wait till you see what that is it's probably going to be on um, valentine's so fully up to you if you want to even summon for valentine's or if you care about that uh but again you can wait you can see what they announced there um and if it's something special you there you go if it's nothing special you don't care move about your day and just forget about it but I just wanted to put it out there. Um, again, it's a 600 banner. You have Scotty on there. You have a Latte. A Latte is a Nighthood um, boss character. Um, Scotty isn't that bad. She's a pretty good character. If you wanted to go through her skills, she does, you know, decent. Um, definitely, she doesn't fit in the meta just yet. Um, I did see a lot of people say that only if she's against Kyo will she actually get to do something. Um, or if you can put her on like a Malaskula team, um, it does work. Other than that, not really the best. So we're going to wait and see again if maybe later down the line she becomes meta. She will be adding more um, to Ragnarok banners and other banners on the side um, because they've really been using Ragnarok characters as like the filler units to make a banner a must summon or not. Like the new like Green Gother is Brunhild and Magilda. Those are the new Green Gothers because of the bird. Um, and Halloween Matrona is the new uh, <laughs> Green Gother. Again, another Halloween unit. So that's my 10 cents. Again, up to you if you would like to summon. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to force you to. Other than that, 2-7. That's all we got here today. Um, and that's the entire uh, maintenance notice. They didn't publish anything else. And let's see how many uh, reactions, like the sacred thing we always do. How many reactions are mad or happy? Maybe this is a good one. Two and zero. Okay, first time in forever. All right, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy. Stay safe. Get your free relic. Get all of your free stuff. It's actually a pretty solid update.